What's going on guys, Faded Louis here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a high fade with some detachables, so stay tuned. We started off by creating our first guideline with our gold FX, and we're also contouring this guideline to their head shape. Don't forget to use the opposite hand to stretch the skin to give you more space. When you pull their ear, make sure not to yank on it, just pull it to the side enough that you have enough space. Now that we're done balding out with our gold effects, we can move on to our foil shavers and remove the stubble. But before we do that, we're gonna apply some shave stick so he doesn't bump up. Now we're using the Babelish foil shaver to remove the stubble. This is gonna make the fade as smooth as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now that we're done removing the stubble, we can move on to our OA guard and create our second guideline. We want to make this guideline as thick as possible without going too high so we can spread the blend. Now that we're done using our OA guard, we're going to move on to our 4 op blade. Now that we're done using the 4 op blade to attack the initial guideline, we can switch over to the 3 op blade and meet it right in the middle. Make sure you also don't go too high here cause then you could take the fade higher. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the top and debulk it with the 1A guard. Make sure you take your time when debulking with the metal guards cause you can not cut them or scratch them really badly. Now that we're done debulking the top with the 1A guard, we're gonna switch over to the 1 guard and meet it right in the middle with the OA guard and the 1 and A guard on top.
here I switched over to my OA guard and I'm detailing as much as possible. Always stretch the skin with your opposite hands to give you more space to blend. Here I'm switching back to the one guard and I'm detailing again. Moving on to the back side, we're going to use our 4 out blade to attack our initial guideline. We're then going to use our 3 out blade to meet it right in the middle between the OA and the 4 out blade. Always stretch the skin with your opposite hands to give you more space to blend. Now I'm using the one guard and this guard is going to help us blend between the OA guard and the 1A guard on top. Now I'm switching back to my OA guard and I'm detailing as much as possible. Moving on to our anesthesia outliners, we're going to start off in the middle or work our way to the sides and make them as crispy as possible. When you're lining someone up, you want to make sure you go as slow as possible and take your time and make sure the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then you won't line them up properly. You also want to make sure you're not pressing too hard because you could cut them with the teeth of the trimmer. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, if you made it this far into the video, please leave a comment down below of my subscriber count just to let me know that you guys are paying attention. Now that we're done lining them up, we can move on to our Turkish razor and Derby premium blades and we can make them as crispy as possible. But before we use the razor, we're going to lather up the skin as much as possible so the razor could glide better. And also when you're using the razor, you want to make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible while keeping the razor at a 45 degree angle so you don't cut the 